Welcome to TechCrunch Now for Monday, July 19th. I'm Evelyn Rusley. So Microsoft has yet to release Windows Phone 7, its latest operating system for the mobile phone, but it did release a prototype version to a select journalist last week who got a chance to give it a test run, including our own Greg Kampark, who's joining us in the studio. Thanks Hi. for joining us, Greg. Of course. So what's your first impression? You had about three days or so to play around with the phone. What do you think? It's, it's pretty great. Mm -hmm. uh, Pretty great. That's a that's a bold word. It's I've got. I always have high hopes for new platforms yeah. when they come out. You know, I'm not the type of person who's just going to rail on a platform because it's new. But at the same time, it has monumental obstacles in front of it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. well, this is miles ahead of their previous operating systems and also the disaster that was the Kin, right? Well, yeah. It, mm -hmm. it seems with their their previous OSs with Windows Mobile six and six point five, they've just thrown all that out. Yeah. You know, ev everything about those is gone. It's 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 like the I don't know if they can that whole team or if some manager came in and said, I don't want any resemblances to that because it's, it's an entirely different look. Yeah. Like you said, they have a huge mountain ahead of them that they actually want to gain traction with this phone, but there are many pluses. So let's go over what you think are some of the advantages of this new operating system. What, what's so great about it? Well, that rapid departure is one mm -hmm. thing because 6.5 was just so complex and it was, it was kind of a mess, to mm -hmm. be honest. Uh, this, they've taken an entirely different approach. It's really, really minimalist. So if you look up here at the top, there's no icons because you don't need to see any of them. So we can see a, a split screen type of setting for the home screen. And on the left hand side, uh, there seems to be these tiles that you mentioned with, you know, Gmail and contacts and maps. And on the other side, it's a, it seems to be a gateway, right, to all the other applications that you might need. Exactly. Left mm -hmm. side is just kind of your favorites, the things you want up in your face all the time. The right side is every application that's stored on the phone. Mm -hmm. Given that the, the OS isn't quite finished yet, uh, it, it's, it might be mis missing some functionality here and there. But uh, so this is clearly a prototype. There, you oh, yeah, came across a few bugs the, in here the, and there. Yeah, the, the, it's not intended for public consumption for another two three months. Okay, so it, it's gotcha. really early. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, it, it, right out of the box, it provides the basic stuff like alarms and calculator. It has a new version of Internet Explorer, which mm -hmm. is actually pretty decent. It's not the best mobile browser around. Uh, Safari and even the default Android browser still can blow it out of the water, but it's good. It has uh, multi-touch zoom support, ta uh, tab viewing support, and all that. Pretty good. Yeah. One of the things I actually liked on this phone was the, the maps feature. It's a little bit buggy in terms of zooming in and out, but yeah. I think that the, the graphics and the interface is very comparable, if not better, than the Google Maps version. Yeah, it's pretty slick. It's, it's not working so well right now because we have zero <laughs> bars of reception in here. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. But, it, but it's actually pretty <laughs> decent. It's, it's kind of a different take yeah. on it than uh, anything Google's done before. It's mm -hmm. Even when you pull up directions, it gives you Instead of throwing it on, on a map and having you take each step step by step on a, on a map, it shows you the, the list just straight up with a tiny view of the map, only relevant to that part, that specific direction. Yeah, and in your post, you also talked about the people's function, which is essentially a more comprehensive database for your contacts, and it includes your social media streams, right? Can you talk about that? Um, how is it different than what's available currently today? Sure, I mean, it is something that is, in a way, available on other platforms, mm -hmm. be it through third-party applications or some operating systems have, have taken their own stab at it. Like WebOS does a lot of this similar stuff. Uh, but what we do here is, is when you first boot up the Windows Phone 7, it asks you what, which accounts you want to sync. So I chose to sync Facebook and Gmail. Mm -hmm. And so it brought down all my contacts on Facebook and Gmail. You know, like if I click into one of my buddies here, it automatically pulled down his, his birthday, his, his, uh, his phone number, all that, the standard stuff. But then if you swipe over here to the right, it says, what's new? Mm -hmm. It's going to take a second here because of the, the poor reception, but it pulls in all of the interactions they've had on Facebook. You know, it's, it's not groundbreaking in any way, but it's a nice touch to have that, access, that information. Yeah. And it's a pretty sleek interface, even though there is a lot of black, like you mentioned on your post. Oh, so <laughs> much black, you know, or so much white. It's, you either get the, the, the very stark choices of all black or all white. So assuming that all the bugs are worked out, do you think that this phone or this operating system rather will be able to take market share from what's available from Android and from Apple? Long pause. <laughs> If I had to guess right at this second from what I'm, what I'm seeing right here, no. Mm -hmm. uh, if it gave it a couple months and developers really flocked to this platform, perhaps. Yeah. You know, there, there really is a lot of potential here. It, it depends. So is it really about the developers or is it the fact that Microsoft should go back to the drawing board? No, I mean, they have a good product here, <laughs> but it's, the product that they bring to the table is really only half the equation. 
You know, it's the, the what the developers can bring is so important. You know, it's it's people tout these numbers of 100,000 applications, 70,000 applications. And it's silly, but at the same time, it is important. Consumers like choice. They like being able to jump in the, into their market or their, their app store and find whatever they want. Yeah. Of course, we won't know exactly what the developers are thinking probably for a few months until you know this is released and developers come out with their own apps. So until then, to be continued, I guess. Yeah. Thanks so much, Greg. Thank Appreciate you. it.